Hi everyone, welcome to my 18 week update, update, whatever you want to call it, 18 weeks, I just feel like that is so far along, um, I'm two weeks away from being halfway there, so it's exciting, we're getting there, um, I am feeling, if you can't tell by my mood, I'm feeling so good. The best I've ever felt so far this pregnancy. Um, everything is just going smoothly. I love the second trimester. I wish I could just stay in the second trimester forever. Um, but first, let's talk about baby. So at 18 weeks, I have my baby center app here. Baby is the size of a bell pepper. I cook bell peppers a lot. That's actually a pretty decent size. So that seems really big to me. Um, also with baby, eyelids, eyebrows, eyelashes, nails, and hair are now formed. The lungs are starting to develop and the girl and boy parts are now formed and visible, <laughs> which is good um, because we're going to have our anatomy scan in a couple weeks and so we need those formed so we can figure out if baby is a boy or a girl. So that's what's going on with baby. As for me, I talked about me a little bit. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. Um, even the tiredness I have found lately that at night I have way more energy than I had in previous weeks. For some reason this week, lately the past couple days, I have gone to bed and like I could go to sleep right now or I could stay up for a while longer. Like I've been making it to midnight some nights, maybe even later. Um, just because I'm doing laundry or whatever. Yeah, I have not felt super tired. I have noticed that if I'm on my feet for too long, then I need to sit down. Like, I get tired, my feet hurt a lot. Like, it just seems like my feet get tired a lot more easily. So I have noticed that, but um, staying up late, like, I've been able to do that, no problem. I haven't really been nauseous. It will hit me randomly here and there, but for the most part, like, it's pretty much gone. I've not taken the Unisom or the B6 for several weeks now, so I'm feeling um, pretty good nausea-wise. I kind of notice, like, I'm not eating a ton. Food just doesn't sound that great to me. I struggle with anything really sounding appetizing. I'm still really craving meats, <laughs> turkey, ham, chicken, like just meat is what I want. But I don't know, I just, like I haven't really been in a snacky mood. I don't really have snacks during the day because nothing really sounds good. And sometimes dinner doesn't even sound that great. So it's not that I'm nauseous, it's just nothing sounds good for me to eat. So that's been kind of strange. I'm curious to see at my next doctor's appointment like, how much weight I've been gaining because it doesn't feel like it's been a lot. I don't feel like I'm eating that much. I don't really have food aversions yet. In my previous two pregnancies, I really didn't have that many food aversions. So we'll see how this one goes, but food cravings and food aversions for me and all my pregnancies just really have not been a big thing. It's just who I am, I guess. I don't remember if I talked about this in my last video, but I have been getting leg cramps. Not so much this week, but last week. Um, I got them pretty often. It just when I'm laying in bed, like as I'm waking up in the morning or like in the middle of the night, it'll wake me up. So I've been dealing with those here and there. Headaches have gotten a ton better. I used to get them like every day, like the past couple weeks. Um, and I haven't gotten a headache in days. I can't remember the last time I had to take Tylenol. So that's been nice. I have been feeling baby kick a ton more. I just feel like th just this week, past couple days, maybe just like yesterday, like it's like I can really feel baby. Like it used to be like it was very soft and um, almost non-existent. And in the past couple of days, it's been a lot more forceful. And I've been, um, yeah, feeling baby. Very low, of course, but yeah, I've been feeling baby, which is really fun. Of course, it's still like when I'm sitting and not moving, but um, it's nice and it's reassuring to know like, baby's still in there, baby's doing good. So from what I can feel, I feel like this baby has been very active 
Grace and I, my first I feel like was active. My second Porter, he was like super chill in my belly. He hardly ever moved. I don't feel like he ever got the hiccups. If he did, maybe it was like a handful of times. Gray got them all the time in my belly. This one, of course, I really haven't felt hiccups yet because it's not big enough, but from what I can feel, I just feel like this baby moves all the time, at least when I'm sitting. So I feel like this is gonna be a very active baby, but we will see. I'm still breaking out a ton on my face. Week to week, it's just the same. It's just, if it's down here, if it's not down here, it's up here. If it's not up here, it's on the sides. It's just usually all over. Um, so I have been dealing with that. That's not fun. I got this yesterday. I have been kind of feeling like cramps in my uterus area and they were kind of hurting yesterday, but it wasn't like coming and going. Like it was just pain that just was constant. Um, I think it's just my uterus expanding for this baby. And this isn't the first time it's happened. Like I, there's been several times where all of a sudden I just get like this crampy feeling and it lasts for maybe 30 minutes, then it goes away. I think it's just, like I said, my uterus expanding my body, getting bigger for the baby, accommodating the baby. It's so hard to remember my first two pregnancies, but for some reason in my head, I don't really remember feeling these cramps, this stretchiness in my first two pregnancies. For some reason, I just feel it with this one. So I don't know if it's just I haven't remembered it for my first two or with this being the third and my body's just stretching a lot earlier. I don't know, but yeah, I have been, um, feeling that here and there, it's just this crampiness, but then it goes away. And of course it freaks me out because I'm like, is something wrong? But you know, it's just, my uterus is getting bigger, I guess. I do find that I'm very emotional. I feel like I've been emotional for a while, but I don't think I ever really touch on it. I'm always emotional with my pregnancies. You know, it's funny, before I got pregnant, I like, hardly ever cried at like the tiniest thing. And then ever since I got pregnant the first time, like now if I see like a sappy commercial, I'm like crying, tearing up, or like you see those like sappy videos of like parents surprising their kids or military people coming home, I'm just like bawling. So, and then of course when I'm pregnant, it's like heightened. So I'm like tearing up over everything. So yeah, that's, that's been like the whole pregnancy. I just feel like I never talk about it. <laughs> and it's very hard for me to remember things. <laughs> I definitely have like pregnancy brain in addition to mom brain. So I have a really hard time remembering things. I have to write everything down and even then I'll forget it. <laughs> um, so yeah, very forgetful. I'm pretty clumsy. I've always been clumsy though. <laughs> I have had it a couple times where I've like woken up in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. for just like no reason or maybe like I have to pee and then I go back to bed and I cannot fall back asleep. Like pregnancy insomnia, I think that's the thing. It doesn't happen every night, but like I'd say maybe twice a week. I just wake up in the middle of the night and I just cannot fall back asleep until like an hour has passed and then I finally do them and of course I'm like exhausted waking up a couple hours later. But yeah, I have noticed that too, like pregnancy insomnia, I guess. I don't have problems falling asleep at night. I fall asleep like almost immediately because I'm <laughs> tired. But yeah, just the random bits of not being able to fall asleep at night, so weird. I think that's gonna be it for this update. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and following along on my journey. Stay tuned for my next video. I'll be 19 weeks. Um, I'll give you guys a belly shot of 18 weeks. I have my maternity jeans on, so I'll show you what the belly's looking like. Like I said in my last video, my last update, I feel like at 17 weeks it really popped. And so 18 weeks, I feel like it's about the same, but it, it is big belly, so uh, I'll show you guys. Okay, so I lifted my shirt up a little. This is like the belly band from my jeans. Um, my maternity jeans, but you can see here is baby. I am bumping along, definitely look, I think I look bigger than 18 weeks, like I feel like I look huge. Definitely not starting to fit into some of my shirts, so I have been wearing maternity shirts here and there, 
and my jeans, my regular jeans, definitely not. <laughs> but I think that's going to be it for this video. Like I already said, um, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.